someone else who loves to come to uh, all these events but cannot be here today is Carolyn Kreider Ferranda. Uh, she was originally uh, also another former Virginia Poet Laureate. She was supposed to read today, but she has an ear infection and cannot be here. So I'm reading a poem for her. This is Overlooking the City, I Reminisce. Overlooking the city, I reminisce about women in homeless shelters who have nothing to do but imagine their fate. Overdose, a gun, a husband who demands his wife heed his dicey commands. In a split second, a woman begging on a street corner falls to the pavement. Epileptic seizures shake her limbs with the force of a tempestuous wind. In flashing street lights, her dark skin glistens. Her front teeth tumble onto the sidewalk. I call out to drivers to dial 911, their slapdash haste, egregious. I tell myself, don't dwell on the madness, the insane chatter of hurried drivers, the headstrong haste of pedestrians. I pillow the fallen woman's head in my lap, place a sweater beneath her neck, thank a passersby for calling an ambulance, a siren's shrill wail in the distance. I dwell on this craziness, on humanity's self-absorption, wonder why it took over an hour for someone to seek help, wonder if the woman will live if she'll end up in the shelter where I read poetry to pregnant hope while she clapped, danced, beat blues on tin cans, where Gwendolyn stood tall and chanted, where a woman like the one I sought to save crouched in a corner, extended her hand, begged for a quarter. <laughs>